Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be introducing you to the Advanced Trader. This is also known as a dome in many other platforms, but today we'll be focusing on the Advanced Trader within the Firetip X platform. So as you can see, we are currently working within the default workspace here. As you'll probably notice, you'll see your Advanced Trader, or otherwise known as a dome or depth of market, located on the far right-hand side of the platform. Now, at least for me and on the default page, you're presented with a couple different contracts here. We have the E-mini S&P 500 of September 2019. We have the mini Dow and we have crude oil. So if you want, you can always swap back and forth between these three contracts by just simply left clicking the corresponding tabs in the bottom left hand corner of your advanced trader here. Now. Let's actually go ahead and let me show you how to start and open up one from scratch. So I'm just going to actually start with a blank workspace here. So I'm just going to click on new and create a new workspace. We'll cover a video on workspaces themselves. For now, we're just going to make this just for organizational purposes. And so we can just cover on our advanced trader dome here. So I'm going to get started, click my new workspace here. And as you can see, we're blank and we're starting from scratch. So in the top left hand corner here, you will see a little tab called trading. You'll notice if we left click on this trading tab here, it'll break down and give us a drop down menu of the available widgets that we can use on this platform. One of those being advanced trader and we've already seen that. So if you left click that, you'll notice it'll populate this window on our screen. As you can see, you can left click, hold and drag to bring it anywhere across the platform window. So with Firetip X, you're pretty much creating the platform for yourself. Nothing's really set in stone and you can arrange as needed. So you'll see it does ask you to enter a symbol to start. There is a little symbol directory window that you can essentially filter through and find the exact contract you need if you don't know the symbol name. So we can click on maybe interest rate, for example. We can find our interest rate, maybe Euro dollar futures, we can find it. You can see you can find all the different contract months here and you can scroll through there are a ton the euro dollar actually goes all the way to 2029 so if we open it up we can just click on this plus here and it will add this contract in for us let's say for example and it doesn't look like this is enabled for us right now but let's say for example we wanted to add another contract now, as you saw before, in the bottom left hand corner, you can swap along different contracts. If you want, want to open up a new one, you can left click on this plus button next to your little contract tab here. And then you can see we're starting over again. So this time, let's type in something we know. Let's type in the ES. It'll take a second and it will populate. As you can see here, you get all the different contract months that are currently tradable. You can, if you want to, right click, or excuse me, left click on these three little dots, and this will give you the options to actually open up a future spread or options for this specific contract. We're just gonna focus on futures for right now and keep it simple. This is just merely technical features of this widget or of this feature of the platform, so not gonna get into too many advanced uh, features here, but like you see, we can open up options for it as well. That being said, let's just go ahead and simply add this to our dome. As you can see, this is activated for us on our demo. And now we get full functionality of the dome. Before we continue on, I'd just like to show you that you can resize using the bottom right hand corner here. You'll see a diagonal set of arrows or array. You just left click and hold that again and it'll drag it out. So let's take a look. So on the far left, you do have some volume in the market. This is visually represented by these black bars here. We have a buy side. So when we do place an order, all your buy orders will be in the buy column. Then we have our two bid and ask price columns. You can see those currently fluctuating. We have a sell column. We have size. And then we have the number of orders in there. So you do have a couple op options as far as placing orders goes. If you want, as you just saw, you can actually left click on a specific price level within the dome. So I clicked on 29, 27, 25. That will automatically configure this order entry window for you. And as you can see, it will automatically filter and automatically populate all of the available 
selections here based off of the price you click at for one and the side you click on number two so we clicked on the sell side or the ask side it configured this as a sell order by default it will probably put on a quantity of one if you do like trading directly through here you can notice that you can actually change your quantity located above the dome here so you can type in manually five they have a little five preset button you can click this plus arrow up or down to adjust orders as needed so whatever if you're placing a trade through the actual dome it will configure that quantity type here again you as you can see you do have the option to change it um, after the fact too so now of course depending on the side of the market we click on either above the below the market you're going to get the order type uh, corresponding to where you clicked so because we clicked a sell order above the market it did configure this as a limit order for us if we did the opposite on the buy side it would give us a stop and vice versa you can also if you want go ahead and change your order type in here once you have everything configured if you want to reconfigure it you can also set a default order type but for now we're just going to stick with the default limit and then of course you do have order duration so you can have good to cancel or you can just have a day duration so at the end of the trading day your order will automatically expire let's go ahead and actually submit this just to see what it looks like and like i said before all your sell orders will show up in the sell side column as you notice if we left click and it was actually just canceled so left clicking on your orders here will cancel them so let's just do that one more time this time we're going to buy at the market so we go ahead we clicked on buy market the buy market button there as you can see it automatically configures obviously there's no price because we are buying at the market it's going to fill us at the best possible price we click submit you can see the order was filled when you do have a position it is going to represent here as a line either blue or red depending on what position you currently have but this gives a really good visual representation of where your current order is in the market we did order a quantity of three so that's represented at the top of our dome here in real time it is showing profits and losses as the market fluctuates as well you can see also you get some numbers such as high low you get the last traded price and the last change price as well for these now as far as other features on the dome and now that we do have a position we can actually show you this if you want you can either flatten out so of course this will bring up the order confirmation window we can get flat and as you can see we're out of the market if we did have a position and maybe we we're long and we wanted to go short we could click the reverse button and then finally if you do have multiple orders you can just click cancel all and it'll get you out of everything just to show you real quick now that we are flat once again it will tell you that you are flat at the top of the dome for this specific position and of course it'll list na not available for your pnl on this position now there's just a couple more things i do want to add before i let you guys go two things that are available to us right here as you can see in the top right hand corner you can actually enable strategies you can select a specific strategy here of course i haven't created any any at this time and i will create an in more advanced video on how to create and select these strategies just something to keep in mind that you can use them on the dome and then finally we do have a formula editor that can be added directly to the dome now i don't know how helpful this will be for the average trader but it is an option and it is just showing you that you can change up display colors at least directly through here for the dome and then even more you can have things such as your ad lines things like that again i don't know how helpful it will be trading on the actual dome but this is an option for traders out there now the final thing that i do want to mention and i think that will really help it's not exactly associated with the advanced trader or the dome but it does apply to it is one click trading of course we have many customers here that they see the market moving they want to click one button and the order will automatically submit that's totally possible on firetip x and you can do so by left clicking the three horizontal lines in the top left hand corner that's your menu button if you scroll down and go down to settings here you'll notice on the general tab under global there's actually something called enable one click trading if you go ahead and enable and save that 
Let me show you if we just click on the dome now, it's gonna automatically put your position in there. There is of course some liability to this because if you do accidentally click somewhere on your dome or in whatever the case may be and you don't even realize it, you will place that order without that additional confirmation window. As we saw before, that order confirmation window does definitely take some time and it will slow down placing of orders. But of course it elim eliminates any liability with this. You're just, I'll just show you one more time. I'm gonna click at 29.26.50 and boom, we're automatically in the market right there with just a simple left click on my mouse. And it's really as easy as that. But again, you're not gonna get that order confirmation window. So you may need to decide beforehand if this is right for your method. And of course, just do your due diligence and keep an eye out and make sure you don't accidentally click anywhere. Just a small disclaimer. But that about wraps it up for this video. Keep an eye out for more Fire Tip X content. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content, of course. And as always, thanks for watching.